I thought it would be fun to make some mugs and some plates that are all matching and in the theme. I think I'm going to make everything in pastel, pastel colors. I think this looks nice. A hello, good morning. It's another day in the studio. Last night I finished up making this plate, and now I only have to do a few things. I just have to smooth out the edges and trim two of the cake stand foot, and then everything is finished. And then it just needs a few days to dry, and then I hopefully already can fire some things because. I really need to get started with the glazing because that's also going to be a lot of work. I have to hurry a little bit because I actually was planning on going to the studio this afternoon when it's, it's a little bit warmer because it's still very, very cold in the studio. My wood stove is on, but it's still like 10 degrees in the studio here, unfortunately. But a friend of mine just asked if I want to go for a forest walk with her and I can always use a nice forest walk. So uh, I'm going to do that. But first I just want to have these things finished so that I can dry. So right now I'm just going to quickly get to work. First I'm going to do the plates and then we will trim the other pieces. Okay, let me make some room here. So do the same with this one as I did with the previous one. So I just cut away some of the clay at the sides to just make it a nicer, flow, more flowing shape. And also get rid of any sharp edges. I think I will keep this one as the plate, like as a normal plate to just display some cookies on. And I will use the one I have here in this pan as the top for the cake stand. This one is finished. Gorgeous. Okay, this one is a little bit softer, but it's strong enough to finish. This rim is a bit higher, but I think that will look nice when it's upside down on top of the cake stand. It is a bit rounded and normally I would go for like a more straight line at the sides, but I think it will just look like, kind of look like a mushroom maybe, which can look nice. Okay, I love the shape that this one has and it's also finished now. Great. Oh, it is still very wet. I can just pick up one side and the other side stays on it. So I don't think I can lift this. It's still so flexible. I will just put it on top of here and then I can easily turn it around. So here we go. Whee! <laughs> that went well. Gorgeous. Uh, I think I'll put it on here because I find it easier to move. Carefully. Yes. Okay. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Now let's finish this one. I got the foot of the cake stand here, so I'm now going to just trim this away because the clay here at the bottom is a little bit thick. So just get rid of that excess clay and then smooth out the edges and then it's all done. <laughs> It's now time to trim the very last piece, so I'm very excited for that. And I'm glad that everything's finished. It was a long ride, but <laughs> it was a lot of fun, but also a lot of work. So I'm glad I was able to finish everything in time. But yeah, here we go for the last one. <laughs> Hi guys, <laughs> we're on our way to have a nice forest walk with two friends of mine, which is going to be great. 
Um, it is very cold, so I have two coats with me, coat one and another extra coat, so that I stay warm. But it is nice weather, it is nice weather, it does look really nice, sun is out, the sky is blue, it looks great, but it's just not warm. Yes, gorgeous, okay. I've started saying the word gorgeous way too often, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm still on my way, but I always have to go over this boat with my car to go over the river. I'm now just waiting until it comes back in the sun. The sun feels really great on my skin. I needed that. We're on the boat. <laughs> we're on the boat and we're moving. We're boating. How do you say that in English? Zaadvaren? I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure. But well, here we go. Hi. <laughs> okay, so the thing is, everything here has been biscuit fired. I still have a few things that need to be biscuit fired, which are the bowls. I only fire two. And the cake stand tops. They're drying right in front of the wood stove here because they have to hurry up drying because everything needs to be fired, because everything needs to be done in a week. So I will start with the mugs and with the plates and they will go into the kiln first and then we'll later on do the bowls and the cake stand and the sugar jaws. Yes, but um, the glaze IDs uh, I have, well, the ID, the thing that I'm going to do, I'm not great at making decisions when it comes to glazing, but I'm going to use vinyl glazes from BOTS because I want to use pastels, as I said multiple times throughout my videos, <laughs> I think. Um, I want everything to be cute and have pastel colors because it's a pastel themed party, okay? But the thing is that there aren't really pastel glazes. I mean, there are a few, but not really under glazes. But the great thing about Bots under glazes is that you can mix them. So I'm going to mix the regular under glazes they have with white glaze to make it a pastel color. Do I know how much white I need to add to make it a nice color? No, but it just has to go right in one go. Otherwise, it is going to be what it is. Okay, I do not have time to test it out. Normally, if I would make a set to sell or something, I would first test it out and try different things and then choose the thing that works best. For right now, I do not have time for that, so I'm just going to glaze everything and hope for the best. <laughs> also, I'm in this catalogue, as you can see, look at me, it's an old picture because it's an old catalogue from, well, an old, from last year, I think. But I'm in there with my mugs as well, not that. But, apart from that, let's look at the colours. These are all the inner glazes that they have, quite a lot. I've decided to use five different colours, I know that's quite a lot. First I thought maybe just use three colors, keep it minimalistic, but I'm not really good at keeping things minimalistic, so we're going for five colors. But I'm only going to put two colors on every piece and then like rotate them in a way that they all have all of the colors but still match in a way. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, but we'll figure it out. Okay, the first glaze I'm going to use is egg yellow and I'm going to mix it with white inner glaze, which I also have. White or Weiss in German. <laughs> My German is horrible. Then, next color I'm going to use is cobalt blue. The one underneath my finger is cobalt blue, quite a dark blue, but I think if I just put in an off-white glaze, it will become a nice light blue color. Then, I also want to use a green glaze, and now I have two different green glazes. It's the one here in the corner, which is quite dark, and the one here at the bottom, which is quite light. But the thing with the light one is that it's not really a light pastel, you know, it's a very bright color, and I don't want it to be too bright. 
but I do want to be light, which I do with adding the white. <laughs> That's an interesting sentence. But I think I'm going for the dark green one and then add white. Then I also want to use red, which is probably going to turn pink-ish because like, well, yeah. The pastel color of red is pink, right? Yeah. Then there's four colors and then I can only pick one more color because I'm not going to use more than five colors. And I'm not sure which one. <laughs> I, okay, let me think in the rainbow red, yellow, I don't like orange, we're not using orange, blue and green, green and blue. I think I'm going for purple. It's either purple or orange. Rood, rein, geel, groen, blauw, paars. Yes, we're going for plum. They also have lilac, but I don't have that one. But I do have plum, and plum also looks nice. So that's what we're going for, okay? Those are the five colors. Oh, I didn't need to say how I'm going to glaze it. Well, I'm going to make like little, how do you say that? Like organic shapes, like kind of like cow, like a cow print, but then like big cow print pieces. It, I don't want it to look like a cow. We are not going for cow vibe, just to explain the shape of a cow print. Well, let's get started with glazing because I've been thinking about this way too long. <laughs> Here we go. It becomes pink. Oh, look at that. I want it a little bit lighter because it's possible that it will become a little bit darker after firing it. I'm not sure. But I'd rather be too light and too dark. Pestles can't really be too light, I think. So I'd rather add a little bit too much white than not enough. But this looks like a nice pink to me. Will it look this way after it has been fired? I'm not sure, but we'll see. You know, life's full of surprises. So sometimes you just need to accept that. <laughs> Okay, I'm a little bit scared for this, but I have to do it. So here we go. I'll just make a flowing shape. Also, I'm not sure how thick I should apply it. It dries quite quickly and I feel like it becomes quite thick. So maybe I will only do it one coat actually. I'm now going to add the second color and see how they match together. I will make it a bit bigger. But I also want a lot of the clay to just be visible so that you see all of the speckles. I think you will see them through the glaze, but I'm not entirely sure. So in case you don't see them through the glaze, I still want them to be very visible. So I will keep big parts unglazed. It's a few hours later and I've done loads and loads of glazing. All of the plates have now been glazed and all of the mugs have been glazed. They still need two coats of clear glaze, which is also going to be quite some work. I think I will do that tonight because tomorrow everything really has to go into the kiln because I actually wanted to fire everything today, but I'm not going to make that because the glaze also has to dry before it goes into the kiln. So we'll have to do that tonight. It's now 6.30, about 6.30. I'm about to have dinner with my family. And after that, I'll just continue clear glazing. I'm quite happy with how everything looks so far. Maybe I've made some of the glaze a little bit too dark and I should have added more white glaze to it. Especially the green looks quite dark compared to the other colors and I'm also not sure what happens after it has been fired. On to some clear glazing.
It is my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Here's the first plate. 